start? Starting, Starting with the Houston Cougars. Okay. All right. Uh, going alphabetical order. In this. Okay. 2018 went eight and five, five and three in the conference. Returning starters, they got eight on offense, five on defense. As far as experience goes, number 20 nationally, number one in the, in the conference. conference. Oh, yeah. Uh, fired head coach Major, uh, Major Applewhite after a 7-5 and five and 8-5 and five season. This is the biggest pickup of right? the conference. This is the biggest recruit. There's no player or coach or anything else that will matter more than this pickup right here. Dana Holgerson from West Virginia. Yeah, he's, they're paying him uh, a king's ransom to coach in Houston. Now, he was the offensive coordinator at Houston under, uh, uh, was it, um, what's the guy from Texas A&M? Uh, oh, someone. Jim, oh, someone. Someone. Jumbo, yeah. uh, someone was there, yeah. Yep. So oh. he, he's been in Houston before. He understands the, uh, the dynamics around that program. That's going to make, uh, I think, the transition a little bit easier. How, Look, how many coaches have we seen leave a Power 5 job for a Group of Five job Without being fired? Without being pushed out. Not even like fired. Like, there's been coaches that were on a hot seat that were like, you know what? I'm just not dealing with this bull crap anymore. I'm just going to leave on my own terms, maybe leave a year early. This was not that. No. West Virginia was on their way. They're doing well. I mean, they won 10 games last year. Yeah. Like, they're, they're yeah. not. They're, he had done really well. Now, I think it, it, the I situation think this was a little well rocky. well for my group of six philosophy. I, the, my, power, power six. my power six right here. I, I agree with you, but I do think things were getting a little bit rocky. Mm, I don't know about In that. Morgantown. Uh, here's, here's you won the deal. 10 games in West Virginia. Who the hell do they think they are? I'm with you. I'm just telling you that they, he had been there for a very long time. right? And he and, done really well. Why is that a bad thing? Yeah, but this year they were not going to do very well. You don't know that. No, I don't know that, but they they expected like this was going to be the drop off. They lose a lot of seniors. Okay, and obviously we'll preview them later. But um, yeah. here's the deal with Houston. I think this, I think this the, bodes well for my my power six. It, it may philosophy. It may, especially if they're willing to put up that kind of money, right? That's right. Uh, quarterback Derek King put up massive numbers before he tore his meniscus in his right knee. Uh, the majority of their school players are back. I mean, they were. They were massive on offense. This, they put up some major league numbers, but they do uh, lose Kendall Bryles, who is like the king of putting up. But you're not uh, worried about stats. that if you bring in Dana, because I, Dana's going to run his own off. This is yeah. the beauty of having Dana and not a guy like Major Applewhite. You don't really care who the OC is because the head coach is going to run the offense. Agree. This is Mike Leeds. This is this is I got my OC. I yeah. don't I don't need to worry about am I going to lose this guy to another coaching job? Whatever is he going to get promoted? I don't. I, I got it in the bag. It's yeah. okay. No, you're right. You're right. It's Saban as a DC. You, the defensive coordinator in Alabama could just roll yeah. over every year and nothing changes. Right. That's it, well. Now some. Well, last year kind of changed a little bit. Oh, uh, okay. but might have had something to do with the offense. Now the defense for Houston, number one twenty-seven total defense in two thousand eighteen, was ravaged by injuries. Obviously, Ed Oliver missed a ton of time, but it, I mean, everybody missed a ton of time. It felt like the new DC is. Uh, let's see, Joe Calton. I don't the, don't know a lot about Mr. From, Coffin. Yeah, from uh, from Arkansas State, known for his attacking style. Arkansas State been okay on defense, not great. Obviously, they've got an attacking offense as well. Um, but his defense, like they get after the quarterback, they they go after turnovers. Like that is that's their mo. That's what they do. The non conference schedule ain't easy. No, uh, at Oklahoma, neutral against Washington State, which. Neutral. I mean, they're playing in Houston, um, and then <laughs> just at Texas Stadium. And then e- even their supposed buy games or easy games, like he's, they're playing at North Texas in Mason Fine's senior year with Seth Luttrell back as coach. Like it ain't easy. Uh, I think they're going to be pretty good. I think they lose uh, some games early. Uh, I have got them eight and four this year. I've got them six and two in conference. Got them eight and four as well. Here. The- so one thing you talked about King at the quarterback position, if he can come back healthy and 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 play great, I mean he he has he has a, a projection to possibly be a three thousand one thousand guy. Yes, yes. So long as he's healthy, yes. That's amazing though. That's, there aren't a lot oh, yeah. of quarterbacks that are going to come close to that. No, no, no. They, they won't come. They either run or they can throw. This cat can do both. Yes. Uh, I think he is very well suited to what Holgerson likes to do. I got him eight and four as well, and it's only because their their two non conference games are 
Well, that's tough. here's here's what I've got them losing. And I don't I don't know that they might not split those. I've got them losing at UCF. I've got them losing actually at Tulane early in the year, uh, and then I've got them losing at Oklahoma and against Washington State. I got them winning the North Texas game. Uh, I got them beating Cincinnati. I got them beating Memphis. You know, I I think I think they're going to get some big wins, but I think they got at least two conference losses, and. I think they got at least two non-conference losses. I think I think this conference is going to cannibalize itself. Yes. I think it's going to be very hard for somebody to come out of here and go undefeated or whatever like UCF has done the last couple of years. I just and I don't think that's a knock on the conference. I actually think it's a good thing with the conference. Yes, I agree. But people nationally are going to they they'll just make it seem like it's not that big a deal. That's right. That yeah. they're, they're, they're not very good. Um I love Houston. I think if Houston comes out and beats Either Washington State or Oklahoma, it won't surprise me. Well, at that point, you can set up for possibly a run, a, a big time run here, a big time run. Well, but even so. then, but you win one of those games, you still got to beat UCF. You still got to beat Memphis. Yeah, like Cincinnati, you, Memphis. This is at not UCF, this is not going to you know. be easy, even though you got a big win against somebody but, but who's supposed you, to be bigger than you. But if you do get a big win, then you can start thinking about That's two right. years six. That's right. right. And so, and, and you've got those, you know, Oklahoma and Washington State are, you know, two games in the first three weeks of the season. So, uh, a lot going on there. Uh, all right, so I've got a mate and four. you got a mate and four. I got a mate and four. Uh, 